And so, this is a long overdue visual change original plan for GNOME 40, and now it is on Master most probably for 40.1 release. And if you are gonna miss it, I'm here to make sure you won't. So I'm talking about this merge request which is a rework on some previous patches, and it basically tries to make the Windows previews as large as possible. As most usual we're starting with how it was before, and here we observe a maximized window. And if we look more closely we'll notice that single window doesn't extend the wallpaper. Next we're gonna open a regular size window, like a terminal. And now we see that the maximized window will extend the wallpaper on the left edge and the terminal will also extend the wallpaper on the right, but not as much, which is more likely a bug. If we open a tiny size window, like a calculator, we'll now notice that all three windows are inside our background actor, so two windows were extending the wallpaper, but three windows aren't? Hmm? Open one more normal size window, and that will be placed on the second row, and the top row will stay unaffected and again all the action is inside the wallpaper. For our last test we'll just move the maximized window out, and I can't promise that the new window's placement is very desirable. But let's go back where I'll begun, and try again with these patches applied. So for start the maximized window will now cover all the wallpaper. Oh, by the way, on bugs department we have this issue that the corners of maximized windows are squared. Another issue is that the window title overlaps the dash, and that's per design. However it can be a bit of annoying when we want to launch or switch to another app. Speaking of which, our terminal app this time will force more wallpaper extending than before, both for left and right edges. And our calculator app will make the rest two windows to extend the top and the bottom edges. That wasn't happening previously. But same as previously the second terminal will just open on the second row. And if we move the big window to the next desktop, our remaining windows will be placed with the same algorithm as before, with the only difference they will be a bit bigger, so they will extend the wallpaper on top and bottom edges. So those were pretty much the changes, but we aren't done yet, because I want to extend this video with a small tiny visual review. So one of the main reasons of those patches to have bigger windows previews, is the logic that if they are bigger, it will be also easier to distinguish them and therefore we can pick faster. And I'm gonna open two more windows. Meanwhile this bug? Poof, poof I say. So we're here on the screen, and the question is, do bigger windows previews actually make easier for a user to faster recognize them? Depending the screen size and how far we're sitting from, in a common 27 inches desktop case and sitting around 30 centimeters away, our best focus area would be inside this green area, and whatever extending this it actually makes us lose time to recognize. And perhaps such a design with smaller window previews, would be actually easier for the user to process and maybe it would lead to faster workflows. To make my case I'm gonna go back in time for a bit, and this is a 6-4 grid, and look how easily readable everything is, exactly because everything is inside human brain focus capabilities. But if we go on present time, we'll get an 8-3 grid so we again have 24 icons in total. But this time everything is much hard to read, because icons placement extends our perception point of view. And yes, everything is a huge mess on this app picker, but we still could have a more narrow application grid, and have next and previous pages previews always visible. And then there is one more problem, assume we're working on this window, and we want to switch to this, and let me maximize it for following better. And then we switch back to this, and back to that and so on. And we see the windows always keep the same placement, although it doesn't really help to create a spatial memory. So windows perhaps could change position depending the last access, and on this case Chrome and Terminal should have been moved on top left, which would also make much faster to navigate with arrows. An improved alt tab really. In any case I can't tell with certainty what's wrong, but I can see that it's impossible to work with more than 2-3 to three windows on a single workspace. Not impossible exactly, but more like pointless. And then there is the other matter. We have a top panel, and then an input right below, and some tiny thumbnails, and then we have windows and icons, and workspaces and workspaces previews, and another panel on the bottom with more icons. If you're asking me? 
I believe what we call a minimalist in a clean UI is totally gone from GNOME 40! Chino, where the hell are you? Yokan ga fuki nuke te ku